Welcome to Castanet's Evening Update. I'm Wayne Moore. At the top of the news tonight, it was the first day of school for about 22,000 Central Okanagan students, and it seems motorists got the message about earlier speed zone times. Speedwatch was set up at Raymer Elementary, and only one driver was noticed going excessively over the limit. School speed zones now begin at 7.30 a.m. in Kelowna and West Kelowna. The majority of the drivers uh, are complying with the speed limit of 30 as a maximum uh, and even at, at the new starting time of 7.30 a.m. Our speed watch volunteers have been closely watching traffic in this area and so far I would say about 10% of the drivers were, were over the speed limit. Restoration efforts continue at Cal Tire Place in Vernon after Saturday's water main break caused significant flooding to the lower part of the arena. 930 square meters of tile flooring have been removed and will be replaced. Crews are hoping to have the building ready in time for the Vipers home opener on Saturday night. Former West Bank First Nation Chief Ron Derrickson is taking shots at the current administration as he looks to reclaim the top seat on bound council. Derrickson claims the private hospital proposal has cost band members $8 million with more lawsuits to come. There's a solution to the shopping cart problem on Leon Avenue. Kelowna's Gospel Mission has constructed 12 storage lockers next to a courtyard it hopes will alleviate the problem. And it's feeling like Christmas around the landmark campus in Kelowna. Christmas decorations have popped up as the area serves as the backdrop for Seasons Greetings, a new movie being filmed here in Kelowna. Coming up tomorrow morning, an early start to the Okanagan grape harvest, and Wednesday is the first day of advanced voting in the West Kelowna City Hall referendum. For details on these and the rest of the day's news, keep it here at castanet.net. For Castanet News, I'm Wayne Moore.